In this video, we will walk through processing a ticket in PlumSale Help Desk. We will see the Help Desk from the agent's point of view, and we'll set up a few things to make the agent's life easier. When you navigate to the Help Desk site, the home page is opened by default. You can choose between several built-in views using the links in the navigation bar. It also shows the ticket counter for each view. My Tickets view contains all the unsolved tickets assigned to you. My Overdue view only shows unsolved tickets with the due date set to before today. Group Tickets view contains those assigned to SharePoint groups that you belong to. In Help Desk, you can assign any ticket to a SharePoint group that holds several agents. This way, a ticket will be assigned to all of them. Unassigned Views is for all the tickets with no agent assigned. All the new and updated tickets will show up in the Unread view. Those tickets will be shown as unread only for the agent they are assigned to. You can add a custom view as well. Just click on the Create View button. Let's create a view of your solved tickets. Select a standard view type. Enter the view title and choose if the view will be personal, just for you, or public. We only need to set up two simple filtration rules. First, Select the Assign To field to be equal to Me in the square brackets. Second, select the Status field to be solved. Now you have a separate view to quickly navigate your solved tickets. Let's open a ticket. Clicking on a ticket title will open a view form. You can see all the ticket fields and comments. The Ticket History tab holds the log of the ticket changes. Now you can add a comment, a private note, or a public reply. Use the built-in editor to post links, insert pictures, and format the message. The private note is a secret message that will be visible to other Help Desk site members only. Your customer won't see it. An agent may use it for self-reference or add comments that are only relevant to other agents. The public reply will add a comment that is visible to your customer. The customer will receive a notification and will be able to see the new comment both in the email body and in the web widget. Please note that you can change the ticket status along with saving the ticket. By default, there are four of those, new for the fresh tickets, pending for the tickets that await the customer's reply. When the customer gets back to you, the status is changed to in progress automatically. Finally, solved is for the resolved tickets that no longer need to drag your agent's attention in my tickets view. You can change the displayed status titles if you wish. Open the site contents and navigate to the statuses list. You can modify the status name as you like. Please, however, remember to leave the internal name field untouched. Another ticket field is due date. Setting the due date will help your agent track the ticket progress and get back to the customer on time. When the due time has passed, those tickets will appear on the overdue view and the due date will be colored in red in all the ticket lists. Your agents may set up an automatic signature to speed up the reply process a bit. Navigate to the Settings page and click on the My Contact button. Scroll to the very bottom and enter a custom signature. It will now appear automatically with every new comment created. Another great tool to boost your agent's effectiveness is Canned Responses. Your agent can create a public or personal message template and insert it quickly from the comment form. Navigate to the Help Desk Settings page and click on the Canned Responses button. Fill out the form to create a new canned response. Alternatively, click on the Canned Responses drop-down list in the comment form and click Add New. Fill out the canned response form here. Now your agent can react to a typical issue faster and not get mad about your clients for asking the same questions for the hundredth time. 
sometimes it feels like a comment does not belong to the same ticket. For example, when your customer seems to have multiple problems, but your agents have separate areas of responsibility, it makes sense to split a ticket into two. Click on the Split Ticket button next to a comment to split the ticket. The comment will become the initial comment on the new ticket. You can now assign it to a different agent. Contrarywise, some customers tend to create multiple tickets on the same issue. You can easily merge those together. First, copy the ID of the ticket that you want to merge the duplicate ticket with. Then open the duplicate ticket and click on the Merge button. Enter the ID and follow the steps. First, you will enter the private message to close the merge ticket. You can choose to let the customer know that this ticket is merged with another one. Then you can enter the private message to update the target ticket with. The comments from the source ticket are copied to the target ticket. Please note that if the tickets have different requesters, the requester of the closed ticket will be added to a CC to the target ticket. There are two default 